Meat Point Faceting 2. The meat point strategy can be used to build very complex gems. This one is called a Baryon Oval. This version of the Baryon Oval was designed by Robert Long. The Baryon concept was originated by diamond cutter Basil Watermeyer based on the idea that cone shaped pavilions pump more light than other shapes, and you can put a cone shaped pavilion under shapes that aren't round if you use tapered adapter faces to bend the mouth of the cone to fit. Because we are building complex shapes based on intersection points, the order of cutting can be important in this type of design. This isn't the only way to do this particular design, but unlike a simple round, the number of ways to do this are limited. We'll start by cutting to a point at 43 degrees. Now, there's only one place on this stone where three or more faces join. The entire stone will evolve based on this point right here. Building from the culet point, we'll cut end mains at 42 degrees. We'll change the machine to 90 degrees and cut the end girdle faces. If we want a calibrated size of stone, this is the time to adjust that dimension. Now there are only two places on this stone where at least three faces come together. One is the culet point here and the other is the meeting of face number two and the two girdles we just cut right here. The entire stone will build from this point forward so we want everything up to this point to be very accurate when cutting a physical stone. We work from that facet number two and the girdle junction to build face number three. Installing it creates a new junction between faces one, two, and three right here. That's the spot we'll use as a guide for installing face number four. Now we're out of reference points for continuing the pavilion cone. So we'll go to the junction of number three and number four and the girdle faces right here. And using that as a reference, we'll install face number five. This gives us a new reference point where it crosses number one and number four right here. We'll use that one as the meet point to measure in number six. And that gives us a new reference point where it crosses two of the number one faces right here. That's our meet point for face number seven. And the primary light cone of the gym is complete. We have to go back and complete the adapter faces that bend the mouth of the cone inward to the sides of the oval shape. At the junction of faces 1, 4, 5, and 6, right here, we'll gauge the depth of face number 8. And face number 9 will meet the point defined by the place that number 6, 7, and 8 come together, here. And also the point where number 7 carves number 1 into a point, right here. We'll go back to 90 degrees and install the girdle faces. And the depth of the girdle on index 12 is cut so that it meets the junction of four faces. Number three, number four, number five, and the first girdle we created right here. Additional girdle faces are installed in a similar way at indexes seven and two. They each meet the reference point created by the previous girdle and the adapter faces here and here. After the stone is transferred, the cutting sequence is very straightforward, working from the girdle upward. First, a level girdle is created by meeting each of the faces to the previous face and the adjacent girdles. Then, crown mains are cut to meet the girdle at the junctions of crown break faces here and here. Crown star faces are cut to first meet the reference point at B, C, E, and F, right here. And then to meet the reference at junction of the faces A and E, right here. Then to meet the reference at junction of D and F, right here. 
Finally, the table is cut to the meet points where faces E, G, and H intersect here, and where F, G, and J intersect right here. So, from the humble beginnings of the first culet point, the entire gem has been assembled by arranging one mirror according to the intersections of three or more others at a point in space. For more information about this process, stay tuned to the Gemstone Artist channel on YouTube, or for hands-on coaching, attend one of our faceting boot camps. Details are on the website at www.gemstoneartist.com.